Bobby Schlamm's garage out at East Atlantic Beach, where I still spend every summer. And I look over that garage across the street every day. We didn't have a garage. And uh, yeah, we put on, I, Bobby and I were looking at Life magazine in 1949, and it said, uh, two boys spend their summer making a movie. I remember it so vividly. It was a, it, uh, they made a film of Tom Sawyer, the whitewashing the fence scene. And I said, this gets them a spread in Life magazine? So I said, I'm going to write three plays. We're going to put them on. And uh, I did. And we went up to, because it was too important. We didn't have a phone, but Bobby did. But this was too important. So we went up to Bruce's candy store three blocks away. And I called up Time Life magazine. And I said, Time Life? I said, yes. I, I, there's a very interesting story. There are these two boys who are spending their summer vacation. And they said, Time Life? I said, well, no, there are these two boys who make a wonderful story. They're putting Time Life. I said, who do you want to speak to? I said, no, we see there are these two boys that are putting make a time. Who do we should speak to? I, we just hung up. So we went out, and I saw there was a local Long Beach paper. I wish I could find this paper. And I got the number off the paper, and I called. They said, yeah, the Long Beach Gazette. And I said, yeah, there are these two boys down on Oswego Avenue. They're putting on two, three plays, and they're going to give all the money to the orphans of Long Beach. They said, oh, yeah, what's the address? What's this case? So on the last performance, a big black car came. People, like, it came out, reporter, photographers, took our pictures, did a story. 11-year-old playwright. Very, um, I was very, uh, there it was, in print, there it was. You had arrived at 11. That was it. <laughs> Downhill. No, it was sort of, no, I, but it was amazing. I just felt, oh, you said, that's all you do? That's it? You write a play and you put it on and there it is. Yes.